hello guys so this is question 2.65 and the statement of this question is consider the situation of exercise 2.64 which we have previously solved so let a be the event that the component fails a particular test and b be the event that the component displays strain but does not actually fail okay so uh, these are the two events first is a second one is b and let me write the data here as well so this is the given data okay so as i will read it i am also going to write it as well so a is what a is the event that the component fails okay so component fails and b the event that the component displays strain but doesn't actually fail so b is what display but doesn't fail okay so let me use this one here as well event a occurs with the probability 0 0.20 and uh, let me write here as well the probability of a is what that is 0 0.20 okay and event b occurs with the probability 0 0.35 okay so probability of b is 0. 5 okay so these are the two events and the given are their probabilities let me underline their probabilities so these are the probabilities given to the events a and b so what do i have to do i have to find that what is the probability that the component doesn't fail the test okay so let me write the solution here and this is the solution of part a and what do i have to do i have to find the probability that the component does not fail okay so i have to find out the probability and uh, it can be what it can be one minus probability of the event that the component fails Okay, which is what which is here event a and the probability of it is already given so let me put the probability it has and that is 0 0.20 and 1 minus it is what that would be 0 0.80 okay so that is what that is the answer of part a of my question similarly in part b what is the probability that the component works perfectly well okay so it neither displays strain nor fails the test okay so these are the two things it doesn't have to illustrate any of the two conditions okay so in solving part b what do i have to do i have to find the probability that it uh, neither displays strain so strain is not available and nor what fails the test okay fail is also not available and it would be what in this i have to write the probability that if strain okay or failure or any one of them would occur okay so how to find it out we have here let me take it so we have here this one and how can we find it out let me write it here and by writing it here what i can have here the probability of strain or failure is what it will be the probability of strain with s okay so let me represent strain with s plus probability of the failure okay both of them are given here and these are the event a and event b strain is the event b so let me write their values here so it will be the probability of b plus the probability of a okay, which is the failure here and strain is here so let me write their values it would be what 0 0.35 plus 0 0.20 and ultimately i will get 0 0.55 okay so this is the value of a so let me take this value and put it here back so it would be 1 minus 0 0.55 
and ultimately I will get what this would be 0 0.55 45 which is the answer of the part B okay so that is the answer of part B which I have calculated okay so now uh, in order to find the solution of part C what is the probability that the component either fails or shows strain in the test so what is this this is the same thing which I have found out here and this is this one okay which I have calculated here and this is what this is the part C and I have found out the probability of it as well and that is the solution of part C as well in which I have found out that the probability of failure or strain so uh, I have simply added their probabilities and at the end I have found it out okay so if any one of them or both of them can be occurred is is represented by this union or if I don't want to find any one of them what do I have to do I have to find the intersection of the complements of the both events okay, so that's it for today in which I have uh, solved three parts of the question 2.65 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box thank you so much